Hello everyone and welcome to another Total Annihilation replay. Today I've got a, another metal map for you. This is probably the other uh, more popular metal map um, than Core Prime Industrial Area back in the day. Not because of any really... Um, how do I say it? Uh, not because of any like reason about the map itself other than that this is an 8x8 map. And the reason why Metal Heck was more popular... Uh, then Core Prime Industrial Area, way back when, when Total Annihilation first came out, was thanks to 56k modems um, and everybody lagging all the time because you were playing this on dial-up. Um, so uh, for those kids who weren't around when dial-up uh, was was a thing, uh, ask your parents or just ask some, some older millennials. I'm sure they'll be able to, uh, to educate you about that. So uh, here we have, playing as Core, Venom. In the bottom right, we have playing his arm. We have Rebun. Uh, now, Rebun was one of the only uh, successful name changes. Uh, the, he changed his name to Aprox, A-P-R-O-X, and joined the number one clan later on. Um, but this game was in 2005, so this was before that happened. Um, and he, a, uh, Aprox was a new up-and-coming player. Um, and he and I played a lot of games. Um, I had a best of 10 with him, um, which hopefully I'll be able to uh, feature on this channel. Um, and uh, this, my theory on this is this is probably a galactic war game um, because um, this was uh, on Phoenix Works is where uh, Aprox used the name Rebun most prominently. So you can see right here, uh, he has gone ahead and he's rushing out some Jeffies uh, to get things started, whereas Venom is doing a more standard uh, strategy of building a bunch of resources. So he hasn't even dropped any metal. Um, and he's just sent out these little Jeffies to go on a rush. Now, this map's got a bunch of geos, a bunch of uh, features that stick up, things for missiles to hit, uh, lots of different ways for units to get traffic jammed. And it seems as if Rebun's attack is going to... Uh, I'll call. I'll keep calling him Aprox, because that's what he generally came on as. Um, it looks like his attack is going to work out. Just hitting a solar. Now, I don't necessarily think it's the best call to, um, to rush on this kind of map, because that solar and any mexes you get is really easy to replace. So you can see even after that attack, Venom's got a bunch more metal in storage uh, than Aprox does, and he has one more solar and one more mex. And so um, Venom gets that first construction vehicle out. He increases his build power before uh, Aprox does, um, and I think that uh, little exchange won by Venom. So now Aprox uh, was a Dutch player, and uh, so I would frequently catch games with him in the middle of the day, my time, uh, primarily back when I was in college and um, the Army when I didn't really have a, uh, didn't have a day job. Because uh, I didn't really, uh, most people didn't need one because I had the, the Montgomery GI Bill. Um, oh, one other thing to add about Venom. Uh, he uh, compiled a the definitive map collection, uh, otherwise known as V Maps. And I strongly suggest if you're playing Total Annihilation or any mod for Total Annihilation, that you swing over to Total Annihilation Universe and grab that uh, map pack because he recently updated and finished it. Um, and it is excellent group of, uh, of balanced maps uh, that are great for competitive play, and uh, I believe there's a separate individual who's working on the AI for it as well, um, for both OTA and uh, mods as well. Um, Aprox joking about turning EHA off, basically trying to, uh, which is the way you get rid of hooking. Um, hooking is the TA feature from the recorder that allows you to build um, rows of things. So here I can kind of show you, give you a quick little demonstration. Just hold down X and build an X and shift, and you can build rows of things like that using uh, your units. Now, Aprox has gone the Commander Walk version of this, and so you can see how his economy has really shot up very, very fast. Whereas Venom is doing more of the, uh, uh, what I consider the more standard route, where he's just building lots of construction vehicles to increase his, uh, his build power first. Um, over the resources. You can see that Rebun, while he's got his metal bar full, he's actually accessing those resources that he's got. He's not spending them because he doesn't have the build power to spend them. 
Now he's dropping labs as fast as he can. Venom knowing that he's going to be up against a lot of flashes. He's busy. Uh, this is good for uh, Braybrax there to bag that con um, on just a single flash. Uh, he knows he's going to be up against a lot of flashing, uh, and so that's why he's got all these defenses that he's building. Um, although I don't know if I would have built that many if I were him, but Venom, one of the drivers right here as a core commander. Um, not his usual side. But um, I'm happy to see, uh, happy to see him, happy to see him do it. Oh, oh, this raid does right here. He had nano blocking as he went, but he was still unable to save the con. Aprox once ahead, once again, bags of construction good. You can see. His commander's right here, continually pumping out construction vehicles. Aprox's commander is just going for a stroll. Doesn't have anything really defending his base. You can see how Venom's strategy of building construction vehicles has kind of paid off. He's at 83 metal. The rebuns, uh, seven, uh, 69. No. Yeah, 69 metal. So if you want to uh, have that as a commander name, uh, Metal 69, that is also available to you guys. Um, just remember to uh, to thank uh, this channel and uh, to subscribe as well. And here Venom goes going on the offensive. Now Storms are a, a primarily a base busting unit, really good at destroying structures and things. Um, they're not the greatest at fighting flashes. You can see how what Venom is doing is he's moving away which means the flashes are forced to come at the storms in a straight line, which enables more of their missiles to hit. And in that case, the storms are going to win the fight. Now, because he fought a retreating action with them, he's able to come up and attack with the storms. This is a danger for, uh, for Abrox's commander right there. Our Venom wants to get this infinite wave going. Now, here you can see there he's dropped some immolators. That might be uh, considered a little bit of cockpitting, but consider the fact, considering the fact that Aprox is only building flashes, that's a useful thing to do. Immolators were only good at shooting flashes, and they were also not particularly good at that, because if the flash was moving at full speed, then it couldn't hit it. So you have to manually aim your immolator until it gets to five kills, and then it will actually be effective at killing flashes and flashes only. It does bonus damage to flashes and to nothing else. Venom's attack is quite successful. He takes out three, four of, uh, of Aprox's labs and he's just walking by the commander here just trying to take out more stuff. Aprox going on a counter attack right here. And actually I do like uh, Venom's choices of using the, uh, the emulator here considering Aprox's choice of units. Abrax is dropping some heavy laser towers, defenses. Um, he's got more metal than he can he can spend right now, so he's not worried about putting it into anything that's inefficient. So you can see he's got space over here to expand, so he's dropping as many labs as he can to replace the ones he's lost. Continuous flow of storms. One of the other advantages of core is you can see here how Venom has placed a construction vehicle underneath this. Um, that doubles the speed of the uh, of the factory, um, and he doesn't actually have to do any extra micro to get that set up. Like with Arm to get it to guard a vehicle facility, you have to put dragon teeth and box the construction unit in. Core it just works automatically, um, and Arm doesn't have that same advantage. They can't put a construction vehicle on their K-Bot lab and have it guard successfully. Venom's an infinite wave here is getting slowed down. And Aprox is able to return and attack. Yeah, Venom just continuously building and he's gone advanced over here in the corner. Venom doesn't have as much resource production. It looks like he might actually be stalling at this point. Um, but Aprox appears to be accessing the majority of his resource production. 
Hey, Prax going here and getting his advance going too. Idle cons, idle cons everywhere. Now there's a pretty good chance here that uh, Venom has just assigned his factories, move orders right out of the gate just to go and attack. You can go see the emulator was in action right there, shooting and taking down the flash. Yeah, his factories just say, go from here to here, and I don't really care what you do along the way. Reason for that being, you gotta spend your time building. Now you can see how they quickly divided the map nice and neatly down the middle here. So, although it looks like Venom's got a little bit more space. And now Venom is pumping out some Goliaths. These things have good accuracy, good rage, good armor, and uh, they are seldom used in competitive games because they're just generally inefficient for the cost. But, cost is no issue. And Aprox is dropping a nuke. He's also starting the, heart, the hawk farm over here. Venom's gone air as well, and he's building up continuing of rapiers. Aprox is more concentrated attack. He's be breaking in up to the north. And Venom's Goliaths have found Aprox's little fire base. Now he's using his commander here to guard out his advanced construction vehicles, which he's using to produce his rapiers for him. You can see how the emulator is just missing. Unless the flash is stopped by wreckage or coming directly at it, then it can hit it. And Aprox doing a scouting run, trying to see what Venom's up to. You can see how he marks the things out there. Aprox's nuke is still being built. Dropping placard too. See how Venom's infinite wave is kind of hurting him here because he doesn't have units to be able to come up and defend against this nice compact group of stuff that's coming in from Aprox. There you go, and now he's bringing in the rapiers. Flashes don't exactly have the uh, best time of shooting these guys. The rockets will be able to hit them because Raper's flight pattern sometimes will cause them to run into the rockets as they're being shot. You can see the emulators as they're shooting the rockets, they're just not doing that much damage. Whereas when they shoot the flashes, the flashes just get blown apart really, really quickly. Venom using the rapiers has managed to push Aprox back. Aprox is pumping out the bombers. Aprox is one of those guys who's always really fun to play with. Um, he'd always say from time to time, you know, like, oh, I'm bored with this or that. And then, you know, two days later, he'd be out doing whatever it was he said he was bored of. With the combination of the Goliaths and the rapiers, Venom's able to start cleaning up this down here. He doesn't exactly have that much by way of anti air defense. He got a little too close to that fire base over here. And this flacker. Flackers work quite well against the gunships. You can see how it got eight kills there. More Goliaths coming in. You can see just how quickly they make work of, uh, of heavily armored things. And you can see that one shot there that much damage to the Guardian. Yeah, Aprox isn't really paying attention to this right here, so he doesn't see that the Guardian is shooting at things it can't hit, while this Goliath is just kind of wandering around not doing a good job of shooting anything itself either. Aprox is trying to replace his base down here. And his nuke is done. Dropping a building and anti-nuke as well. 
don't think I see one in Venom's base. Rapiers take out the nuke. They're taking out resources. Goes takes out the geos. The Crocs brings in his hawks to try and shoot these guys down. Kind of might have been looking for a commander there. Oh well, I think I have actually. Oh, there he is. Here's Abrax's commander right there. He's dropping another nuke. Continuing to press the Rapiers, which are really good against structures when you're not trying to bomb. Bombers in general are going to be better for this kind of thing. But you can see the Rapiers are plenty distracted, especially with the rate that he's producing them over here. Uh, Aprox is just simply not producing enough hogs. Flies do have trouble when things get a little close to them. There is friendly fire, so when this Goliath shoots and hits this guy, it is going to damage his own, his own Goliath. Quickly make work of those guardians so his units can get in. Taking out more factories. Venom's not paying attention to Pierre, where Aprox is just running through his base. The resources, uh, Venom is up at this point on resources. Quickly, the Hawks just take down the Drapiers. I wonder if uh, Venom will switch to Vamps. Or he's going to stay stubborn. The Crocs using the Hawks. Torm still just going on a nice little infinite run, walking into their deaths. Now, by virtue of having the Drapiers over here, you can see how the Hawks, they primarily target air first. So even though he's trying to take out these missile towers, he's not able to do so because the Hawks are shooting down the uh, rapiers instead. So he lost all his Hawks there to just a handful of missile towers. This one Goliath there might be doing uh, Yeoman's work. No, it's only got two kills. And Venom's got some vamps out now. Switch the vamps entirely. And this is just what happens on this map when two people get locked up. I think this is just fantastic. Both of them just kind of storming through. There's not even really a base, it's just a large group of structures and as tightly packed as possible. That's how these little, um, whatever you call them, these obstacles just get in the way of your building, get in the way of the units. Uh, and the wreckage really clogs things up, too. Venom and his Air Force. And he spots... Aprox's production. Flacker right here, he sees it. And he takes that out. Not before he lost a bunch of stuff. Because he's using the attack command, that's why Venom's vamps are flying all over the place. But that's enabling his rapiers to be pretty destructive. I'm just taking out the base over here.
Venom clearly seems to have the upper hand here right now. So while Aprox did manage to push in, I really just think it was kind of the wasting of his hawks in the back that really didn't do him any favors, because otherwise he would have been in a much better position to handle this. Aprox's resources are rapidly dropping. He's down to plus 140 to Venom's 240. sitting right here and not cloaked. Not sure if he's in a position. Yeah, he's got enough energy. He should be able to do that. He goes. Venom spotted the commander. Took a few shots at him, but didn't get him. And Aprox launches a nuke. Boom. Down goes his air production. Venom doesn't have any anti. So here Venom just kind of taken over in this section of the map right here. He's moved in a large group of cons. Hard to build up defenses. You'll see geos on metal maps. You can actually put four geos by putting one down on the corner and then using the four corners of this geothermal spot. And you can get plus a thousand energy from one of these geothermal spots. With something like this, you could, you might probably only get one if you use an aircon, one or two. I don't remember exactly. Um, but ones that are like this on the flat ground, you can. Goliaths make quick work of, the work of the defense here. scouted. I would have picked perhaps a different target, but that will slow things down for Venom just a little bit. The other thing is the standard hawk and vamp movement where you kind of fly them back and forth, that is still the most effective. It does take a lot of time, um, but these little structures make it difficult to destroy things. Aprox commander right down here, really, really close to the front line. And he says, that was my last chance when he fired off the nuke into Venom's base. And Aprox is busy, we're trying to repair this nuke. While his commander has some storms sitting right on top of him. Venom switches targets. And Venom's infinite wave of storms has finally broken through. Aprox's commander retreats. And it looks like a victory for Core is in order. Vamps are just doing drive-bys on the commander at this point. over here right now. And there you go, now Venom's taking out the commander. And GG. So yeah, that is Metal Heck. Um, one of the more common um, quote-unquote noob games that you'd see back in the day was the um, MH10K 10K, which is Metal Heck with 10,000 starting metal and 10,000 starting energy. Um, and I always thought that that was just silly. And, and from my understanding is they were in general, just lag fests, um, for everyone back on their, uh, 56k modem. Uh, so here's just the, uh, the production for you guys to take a look at. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I'll, we'll probably try and show off a few more of the metal maps too. Cause I know those were, uh, were, were popular. 
Um, but Metal Hack and Core Prime Industrial Area were the two primary ones that would get played at more than just a, you know, a casual level. So like the um, Cormageddon and um, one other one um, that was like a maze-like one um, that were uh, that would get played from time to time too. Uh, Metal Isles. Um, so they all have somewhat different builds to them. Uh, Metal Hack is probably the most different because in the larger maps you have the benefit of distance between you and the enemy which allows you to build up more whereas the option of rushing is uh, is a choice you have uh, on metal hack so a uh, great game and uh make sure you subscribe and like as well and i'll catch you guys in the next one take care bye